What's up everyone and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're playing some Keyforge Age of Ascension. It's a game from the Vault Tour Day 1B that was held at Origins Game Fair 2019 in Columbus, Ohio. On the left we have Nathan from Team Sass. As you see by his little red, uh, yellow, and blue keys there. Promoting decksofkeyforge.com. And on the right we have Will who's representing a Bouncing Death Quark podcast there with his playmat. So on the right, we had a start there with the Library of Babel out of Logos. On the left, we had a Shield of Justice play just for the Ember, it looks like. And I think something else under there. I didn't see the first one. But Borden the Redeem's in play. It's got the Action Capture 2 and Obeyed the Grim coming into play, not capturing anything. And on the other side, we have an Alpha played, which is Eureka out of Logos. Gains an Ember, gains two more. And then the opponent gets to choose, well, it's Archive 2 random cards, but the opponent's going to choose them here to make sure they're random. And now he's able to use that Library of Babel if he wants there to draw a card. Couldn't use it first, obviously, due to uh, Eureka being an alpha. But he does do it there. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing Will uh, in a sealed pod a couple days before this at Origins. Uh, I was playing some side events. Uh, faced him in the last round. Had a wickedly good match. It was fun. It was nice meeting you, Will. Assuming you're watching this at some point. And another thing, Nathan is promoting the same tokens that Ben was. They're both from the same team. Luxury playstyle tokens. Uh, if you guys are, are going to question about them there, the nice, pretty, shiny tokens. I'll drop a link in the description below so you guys can go check those out if you're interested. So we have Helper Bot thrown in there. That helps get uh, the Harvester into play. Archimedes in the middle. Everyone's favorite card, not causing any drama on Facebook right now. Uh, he gives his opponent, or his neighbor, sorry, uh, destroyed, archive these guys, uh, the, the cards. So if Helper Bot is destroyed or Harvester is destroyed before Archimedes, they will get archived. And the drama with Archimedes as a whole, if you board wipe, it basically archives the whole line except for Arch Archimedes because the destroyed effects go off one at a time. All right. Uh, so Ronnie Risk Clock's dropped in on the other side on a Shadow's turn here, stealing one. And we have Red, Clock, Red Lock in play, uh, has Skirmish, and if you don't play any creatures on a turn, you gain an Amber at the end of turn. Throwing Star is coming in. It's going to deal one damage to up to three creatures, and for each creature destroyed this way, he can gain an Amber. Let's see who he targets here. I think Helper Bot will be a target. Oh, no, it won't be a target because he doesn't want to archive them. Makes sense. Makes complete sense. So he throws one on Archimedes, and one on Red Lock, and one on Runny Risk Clocks. So he's setting up something here with damage on his own creatures. Does he have a Dharma maybe in hand? If you guys are interested in their deck list, you can check them out in the description below if you'd like to see what cards are in their decks. I believe I have both uh, both these decks. I'll put links to the Master Vault uh, in the description of the video on YouTube. So looks like Will's going Shadows. He took his uh, archives. We got a Sucker Punch here. An Alpha, another Alpha, uh, gaining him an Amber and dealing two damage to a creature and gets archived. Uh, the card gets archived that he played there, Sucker Punch, if it destroys the creature. And it does finish off a Red Lock. And Nathan's at three Ember there. Will's at two. Uh, he's going to gain an Amber here from playing. Well, I think he has four, actually. He's got a clear token there. And he draws a card, I guess, since he has more Amber, gets uh, there everywhere. Which is the card deals two to each flank enemy flank creature and one to every non-flank creature. Dust Chronicles. And we got a Dust Chronicles played. And I forget the text on that one. If your opponent has more Amber than you, draw a card. If you have more Amber than your opponent, archive a card. What was the other one? Perplexing Sophistry. Play if you have more Amber than your opponent, which he would have at the time. Then discard a random card from their hand and you draw a card. Okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it. I still have trouble with all these different Shadows cards. I haven't paired the art uh, to the text box. And it seems like there's so many that are all, if you have more Amber, or your opponent has more Amber, or all this, this, it's kind of the same first line. Per Perplexing Sophistry, Dust Chronicles, and Furtive Investors. Those three cards, I'm getting used to, but like it's hard to remember which one does what when you're commentating. So I apologize for that. All right, we got a little Niff coming in off the deploy. If his neighbors fight, he you steal one. 
He also has Elusive. And he is Omega, so he does end the turn. And since Will is using some see-through amber there on the bottom right of your screen, I'm going to guess to say he's at 5 amber right now. I didn't hear him say check. And we got a second Obeyed the Grim coming into play. Steals 3, or captures 3, sorry. And uh, he's at reap ability. If he does reap, he can discard one of those amber tokens off of him. And we got a Gatekeeper coming into play. Obviously not capturing anything since the opponent is not 7 or more. And then the other Obeyed the Grim fighting and destroying Archimedes. And only taking one damage back since he has armor. And it looks like Nathan is all readied up over to Will for his turn. Just checking his archives there, de de determining which house he wants to pick and whether he wants to even take his archives. Logos. Sounds like we have a Logos turn here. It's going to start off with the Library of Babel, drawing a card. Classic play. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, I already posted a bunch of videos from this tournament and other tournaments, actually. You can check them out at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube. They're all on a playlist there. You can see the Origins uh, 2019 playlist for Keyforge. I'll be posting all the remaining videos from this tournament there. So Helper Bot fighting Ronnie Risk Clocks there and finishing him off. We got an Igor coming into play. We'll look at the top three cards of his deck. Choose one to put to hand. The other two get discarded. Love me some Igor is great card. Great card. And if you have other synergy in your deck to uh, play stuff out of your discard pile, like Exum or a Regrowth or something like that, uh, yeah, he can he can line up some good stuff, making that discard not so bad. So, he's, so Mars needs Ember and Gam G going to the discard pile there. And we have Professor Sutterkin. When he reaps, you draw one for each friendly Logos creature you have in play. Amazing card. Saw a few decks over the weekend at Origins that had two of them in it. And there's a there everywhere. Gains an amber off that. Two damage to each flank creature and one to each non on the flank. So Sutterkin should be dead. The Harvester should take two. And Igor and Little Niff each taking one. So Sutterkin didn't really get to shine there, obviously. <laughs> and we got Inca, the spider, coming into play on the left flank there. Stunning uh, creature. And then there's the Dharma. So we did have it to gain some amber there. One amber off the damaged Obeyed the Grim. And he stunned Igor, it looks like. I may have stunned the Harvester, but... Either way, you want to stun one of Little Niff's neighbors... And I guess the Harvesters can't do anything. So I'm a dummy because he has a non-Mars neighbor in Little Niff. So I, I realized how dumb it was for me to say that. So he definitely, definitely stunned the correct target. So we see a Dominator coming in to play stunned. Should be exhausted. So we got a Plague Master. I haven't seen that guy in a while. He is a rare. He's got the Fighter Reap. Deal three to each human creature. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. A great anti-sanctum card. And what's he putting on there? Killzord MK9001, I think. Which is another rare in his deck. This creature gets plus two armor and plus two power. This creature gains skirmish and fight. Gain one chain. And a Dominator there on the right flank that also comes into play stun. And we, yeah, the Harvester can't do anything with the Harvester. Sounds like a Shadow's turn uh, from Nathan here. So 
So we see in Nathan's hand there, he's got a pile, pile of Shadows cards. I don't know if he's just debating what order to play them in. We saw him look at Will's discard pile there. So he's going to start with a Ronnie Wrist Clocks. And he steals one from that. See Knuckles Bolton thrown into play there. And he's got a Mimicry in Shadows. That's a cool Maverick. That's why he's looking at his opponent's discard pile. I was wondering, he's looking at Shadows' turn there and why he was looking at his opponent's discard. I didn't even catch that looking at his deck list. But yeah, he's got a Mimicry. So I think he copied Mars Needs Amber and get an Amber off that. And I think he got some Amber there. So Mars Needs Amber, let's read that. Each damaged enemy non-Mars creature captures one from their owner's side. So then... <laughs> okay, so I see. Igor there and Little Nif each captured one. That's kind of funny. And do we have a second Eureka here? Yeah, actually, Will has three Eurekas in his deck. Man, I really got to start looking at these deck lists before the match. <laughs> and we got Library of Battle there. Drawing a card, of course. And Igor, of course, being used there to remove the stun. And Sloppy Lab Work action card play there to gain an Amber. And he's looking at his Archive because he gets to Archive a card, and then he has to discard a card. So he's at four Amber now, it looks like, uh, on Will's side there. Nathan sitting at seven. He is in check. Both players have pretty big boards here. And he discards a Sucker Punch. He does have two Sucker Punches. I think one already in his archive. Alright, we got our first key of the game here. Nathan flipping his yellow key. Sounds like Nathan's going Sanctum here. He's got four Sanctum creatures on the board. Can use one of those Obey the Grims there to do a Reap and lose an Amber. He can capture two with uh, Board and the Redeemed if he wants. Yep, he's going to do the Reap. Gets rid of an Amber. Looks like he's got a Healing Blast in hand. But uh, nobody has four damage or more on them, so then he can get some extra Amber bonus off that card. Throws down the uh, Abon the Armor Smith to give all other creatures, uh, all other friendly creatures, plus one armor. So we got three reaps here. Going up to five. And the Healing Blast to go up to six. Surprised he didn't heal anything off of the Obey the Grim. But I'm assuming with Dharma, maybe... No, he only has one Dharma. So it looks like Will is debating taking his archives. But now he's saying no, he doesn't, doesn't help him. Uh, his board's getting out of control here on uh, on Nathan's side. 
Nathan is in check for his second key. Will still not reaching his first key yet. Only has four amber right now. He's going to go Mars. So destroy them all. Gets rid of an upgrade, a creature, and an artifact. He has to get rid of his own Library of Babel and his own uh, Killzord MK9001. And he's going to get rid of the Obeyed the Grim that had the Amber captured on him there. Putting himself in check with six, it looks like. Which is a good play. But I don't know if he can get his opponent off of check. Three damage to all humans. And he has an arm. So he cannot be prevented by arm. So he's doing three damage to all human creatures. Off of the uh, Plague Master. Don't even want to try to pronounce that first part. But he's got the Fighter Reap. Deal three to each human creature. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. He's going to sit there and be grumpy about his neighbor. And it looks like he got rid of the stuns, I believe, off the Dominators. And we got a Nizix Resonator. Increasing the cost by plus two for Nathan's Amber, or uh, Keys by two Amber. So that does get his opponent off of a key, which is good. <laughs> and just bumped it up to 10 now by putting another neighbor on the other side of Resonator. It is an Agent Human, and he has another Harvester in the deck. And he throws that over on the right flank, and he's able to use that one on future turns as long as he doesn't put a non-Mars creature next to it like his other Harvester. And we got Untamed on the other side by Nathan. Throws down a Glimmer, which is an Alpha. Allows him to return a card from his discard pile to his hand. Grabs a uh, there everywhere, I believe. She has two of them in his deck. And he's going to do two to the flank creatures and one to every other creature. And then he's going to throw down a save the pack. So this guy is going to survive and this guy will still come again. So the Dominators live because they have armor. Because they won't take a damage off there everywhere. Yes. And Obeyed the Grim on the other side should die also. Because he is damaged. That's right. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a damage on him. He obeyed the Grim, second creature up on the left. And we got a Reap and Stun off Inca, the spider. So hopefully they catch the obeyed the Grim. Uh, like, save the pack does all creatures. Yeah, each damaged creature gets destroyed, gain a chain. And Nathan's going super high here on the Amber, hoping his opponent doesn't have any too much to protect. And let me check here. Uh, doesn't look like he does, so we should be okay. And we got the first key forged here by Will. Looks like you use a Song of Spring there to shuffle friendly untamed creatures from your hand discard pile, battle line back in your deck. I'm not sure if he did any there. Obviously none from play, but... I'm not going to leave you in suspense. So we have Shadows. We got a Dharma hit there uh, off a of Sucker Punch, throwing it back into the archives. And we got a Miasma, so no for no Forge in the key next for Nathan. But Will has to rush here. He has to go fast. He's got to get in check here. Mac. And we got Mac the Knife. Knuckles, Knuckles Bolton. He's got Skirmish and Elusive. And we got a Life for a Life here. He can sack a friendly creature to deal six damage to another creature. Gets an Amber off that. And it's going to be Knuckles Bolton is sacrificed on the right side there. I don't know who you hit here. I mean, he, he goes 
Tandalin. Deals uh, six damage to him. Not sure why. Not sure why to do the six to him and not remove like Inca the Spider. It's too bad it'll be the Grim wasn't caught. I mean, yeah, maybe Knuckles, Knuckles Bolton even I would do it too. Not sure what his plans are here. And now Will's gone through his own discard. Now he's going to go through Nathan's discard here. He's doing some counting. I'm not sure what he's what he's planning here, what he has. Oh, rigged lottery. Rare out of shadows. Play. He gets an amber off it. Each player discards the top five cards of their deck. For each shadows card discarded, his owner gains one. And he gets one because he has a Night Forge there. So he was trying to YOLO. And no Shadows cards flipped off Nathan's uh, deck there. So it does put Will in check at least. Remember, no Forge from Nathan because of Miasma was played by Will. So yeah, Will is in check with six Amber. And we see Nathan has a pile of Shadows cards in hand again, so I'm sure he can get them off. The Ronnie wrist clocks or something, maybe. How many does he have? Yes, three in the deck. There's one. Yeah, that may have sealed the deal right there. And a skeleton key thrown down and a Knuckles Bolton. And Knuckles is going to fight uh, into the uh, Dominator on the right there. Just deal two because of armor. Of course, he won't take any damage back because he's skirmish. And Ronnie Risk Clocks is going to reap. And that's going to be it. Over to Will. Who's still shuffling and trying to get his previous hand drawn up here. So I don't see anything in Will's deck here really that can get him back into this. He can't get his opponent off a key. He only has one Miasma in the deck. Nathan will most likely forge next turn and still be sitting pretty in check again. And Will wasn't able to forge a key there. If, if Will was able to just forge his key, get to a second key, and then shoot up to another basically getting into check this turn we may have had a game but I think this one might be out of reach here Will is going to check everything here and just make sure I mean he could draw back into the resignator increasing key costs and he's going to start with a Eureka going Logos gaining three Amber archiving two cards at random Pip Pip, stunning creatures that enemy creatures that reap. And that's going to be it. Over to Nathan. He's going to forge key number two. And still have eight amber remaining. <laughs> and he plays sack of coins. Which, uh, sack of coins basically can deal one damage to each, one damage to a creature for each amber in your pool. 
So he kills Mac the Knife, and then he gets a Night Forge. Key Cheat out of, out of Shadows. Another Key Cheat. A better Key Cheat, I guess. Oh, wait. He can't do Night Forge. Play. If you have not forged a key this turn, you may forge a key at plus four current cost. So he is not allowed to forge a key yet. He did go back on it. Somebody, I think, watching from the side noticed. I don't know if Will caught that or not. But he did do a whole bunch of reaps there, which they all have to be stunned because of Pip-Pip. So they're just correcting the board state here. Skeleton key will capture one onto a friendly creature. And he puts it on Obey the Grim. Who's still bugging me that he's there after a save the pack, unless I miss something. <laughs> So he did keep Night Forge's played, so he did just get an Amber off of it. But either way, I don't think Will has a way of stopping that, so I, I think it didn't change the inevitable. But we'll see. Nathan sitting at, looks like, 14 Amber, I think. And he grabs his archives. Oh, he did get the Resonator back, but he does not have enough, it sounds like. Oh, a sample collection, but yeah, that's that's not going to do it for him. Yeah, so correction on the Night Forge. Don't play it if you've already forged the key this turn, especially if you're trying to key cheat. All right, thanks to both players for playing camera. Thanks to Nathan there. Uh, congrats, sorry, to Nathan there for the win. Uh, if you want to see more Keyforge videos, make sure you subscribe. Hit that alarm bell button. If you have any comments on rules, mistakes, or anything, leave them in the leave them in the comments below. So help other people watching these videos in the future learn from those mistakes, and we can all get better at Keyforge. See you in the next one.